Today, the police department presented new crime numbers and among the most alarming stats, the number of crimes tied to those in their teens or even younger. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre is joining us now. So Jesse, what are officers saying about this? Well, CMPD says the community needs to come together and work on this to help find solutions to help turn those numbers around. Also work with kids so that they have better ways to resolve their issues, resolve their conflict, and also get them on a path where they are making better decisions. But it is a troubling trend that is keeping some community members up at night. My grandson, he's been here. He's been with me, my twin. That's my baby. It's been three months since Nicolio Mobley's grandson was hurt in a shooting in East Charlotte at just 15 years old. His friend was killed. And you got this one and now he gonna have a disability because he's not able to walk. He's paralyzed on one side. So yeah, it's, it's very difficult. The life of her grandson forever changed. He's still traumatized and I'm still scared for him. And we, he don't like to go nowhere. Is that, that is kind of hard when you got a 15 year old. He just turned see he'll be 16 on the 21st. But when you got a child that done been traumatized like that, seeing his best friend get killed. It's gun violence that continues to hurt families and shatter communities. So far in 2024, Charlotte's homicide rate up 31% from the same time last year. CMPD says young people are also involved in a significant number of violent crimes in Charlotte, and that needs to change. Meanwhile, Mobley says her home is no longer a place of comfort or peace. It's very hard because I'm scared. I'm on pins and needles because we don't know who's going to come kick in our door or who's going to try to shoot at us or, you know, or what may be because we don't know. So, yeah, it, it took a toll on me. CMPD has launched several intervention programs to help kids get back on the right path and stay there, like the Jade Initiative. Through the program, so far this year, Jade officers have made 27 home visits. When you're talking about kids that are 12 and 13 years old committing violent acts, they, they aren't man mentally making the right decisions. So the Jade officers' relationship with the Jade Post officers is really starting to take hold, and it's really showing a commitment on how we can try to divert them away from just criminal acts. Mobley says she wants to see more resources in her community. I really feel like the community needs somebody need to get together and come up with something for these kids because once they took the recreation centers and stuff away from these kids, these kids ain't did number they went downhill. Now the Jade program does also work to connect families with resources. CMPD also kicked off a mentorship and diversion program for repeat offenders between the ages of 13 and 17 years old, all in effort to curb the number of crimes involving young people. Live in Uptown, Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte. Jesse, thank you. Developing